So last week, Gum Media tweeted an image of eight dots. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions and messages about these eight dots, and I've watched a couple videos online, and these people are just way overthinking this process. You got one guy trying to invert the colors, thinking there's some kind of hidden meaning, and another guy is actually looking at the crinkles in the paper, because it's on a crinkled up piece of paper, looking for some hidden message. Yeah, because, you know, that's what we do. We don't use 1024-bit encryption anymore. We send crinkled up pieces of paper with hidden messages in them because that makes sense. But let's talk about what the eight dots actually mean. Well, seven of them are black, which signifies these seven Jasons that you can be in the game. There's an eighth dot, meaning that there's going to be a new Jason coming. That eighth dot is blue, which is only one hockey mask in all the Friday the 13th series with blue on his mask. Roy. Now let's talk about the problem with this. Roy, unlike Jason Voorhees, was human, which means the shotgun should kill him. Shouldn't be able to teleport, shouldn't be able to shift, shouldn't be able to get hit with an axe and stand right back up with no problem. He had no ties to Pamela Voorhees, so the sweater and all that shit shouldn't make any sense. We shouldn't even hear Pamela's voice at all in the entire game if somebody's Roy, which means they're going to have to create a whole new part of the game which is going to have to look at who the character is. Who is Jason? Is it Roy or is it an actual Jason Voorhees? And then we're going to have to change the storyline based on that. Or we're just going to have to live in La La Land and stay delusional to the fact that he's human and none of this sh should make any sense. I mean, I think what Gun Media is doing is why they're giving into all this crap such as removing team killing because a few people don't like it and makes absolutely no sense, which I talked about in another video. That link is down in the description below if you want to hear my thoughts on that. And I think what they're doing here is I think they're trying to come up with all this half-ass updates to divert our attention from the actual issue, which is there's been four updates of this game and it still doesn't work. So they figured, well, the best way to get all these people to stop complaining of the fact that the game doesn't work, which is driving our sales down, which is causing people to want refunds, which is hurting our business and is causing us to crumble is to cover it up with all these half-ass updates. But what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys think that this makes any sense at all? Do you think that the shotgun should now be a nerf gun? Do you think they should remove the axe? Maybe give us our own perk system like the counselors where we get, where we're more stealthier, we can run, we can swim faster, we can swing the weapon harder, things along those lines, and we swap out our perks for it to make sense with Roy? I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with. I mean, and like I said, you'd have to remove the whole storyline of the game where Pamela Voorhees is involved with Roy because that's, realistically, they have no connection whatsoever. But let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for Roy? Do you think this doesn't make any sense? Does it not make any sense yet you're still excited? Which, that could possibly be a thing. But if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that notification bell because if you don't, you won't be notified of other videos such as this one. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that great shit. And as always, I'll see you next time.